morning out there. How's it going, Sadie? What's his new haircut? You look like an accountant. Ah, oh, shut up. You all right? Yeah, that was quite a mess to clean up. Come on, girl. Girl. Yeah, that's my girl.
Where's this shine? Easy, whoa. Hey, mister. where you're walking. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money. <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? You see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. 
Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Look out! Excellent, excellent. Oh, this wonderful methanol. something hey mister hey there mister Sir, afraid to let folks see your face. Howdy. Bonjour. Mister? Bonjour, monsieur. You know when you have one of those days? Are we? Mister. Morning, mister. Howdy, fellas. Good morning, partner. Good morning to you. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not... Really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> An artist. Well, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Oh, yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. Oh, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Drop on the gas. On the run now. You know that ain't Hi, ma'am. Hey, fellas. Hello, dear. So, you heard anything about any uh, bounty hunters in these parts? Morning. Hi there, mister. 
Get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead hey there, of just folks. begging. Hi there. Bonjour. Hey, I hate asking for money oh, like a goddamn a bad town water. you got here. Probably here cool? in the dirt. Hey, friend. Buongiorno. Hey there, mister. Howdy. Hello. Hello. So tired. Morning, lady. Hey, mister. Hello there. Hi there, ma'am. Hello there. Hello, mister. Hello there. Hello, gentlemen. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so I'm asking for a refund. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. I think that it's Greek. Or could be Roman. That's far too modern for my taste. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be shown it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you! That's it! Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch! Oh, you God. filthy little man! Oh! Oh! Come on, horse! We'll leave hey, it! I'm coming after you, Frenchie! Hey. All right! <laughs> I don't think you're tough. Charles, where are you? This show is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Let's go! This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. Huh? The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. Huh? That, it was not. Architect people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. 
I told you I was a Hunas! <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it would be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> Hello, sirs. Hello. Hello. So, welcome to our humble police house. What can I Sir? do for you? Hello. Partner. Get lost. Can I help you with something? I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay, well, the price is fair, here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as, uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck! Mister? How there, mister? 
Hey, partner. Hey, mister. Hi there, mister. Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. then, in the usual formalities. And what are they? Well, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. And this fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Scab out the one dollars a glass. And I thought we. You're back. Okay, girl. Okay, then. Okay, boy. Hey, 
Arthur. Happy to be out of that suit. Never Come again. here, Arthur. I hated every... <laughs> well, we got some good leads out of it. See that? Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Morgan. Come on, my turn now. Arthur. Oh, no. We don't need you getting in no more trouble. You all right, Jack? I'm just fine. Why? No reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs>